Please open in your learning workbook to page 203. We're going to do some problems involving finding domain of a function, like you might see in Alex. Here's the first one f of x equals log base 2 of the difference 9 minus x squared. Find the domain. All right, let's go through the four steps. First, we will start with all real numbers. Next, we will look for even index radicals. We don't have any in this problem, so we skip step two. Next, we look for log arguments, which we have. So we can see that in this problem, our log argument is 9 minus x squared. So that tells me that 9 minus x squared has to be greater than 0. A log argument must be greater than 0. All right, let's solve this inequality. I'm going to pick up this term right here, the subtract x squared, and I'm going to move it to the other side. When a term changes sides, it changes signs. So then I have 9 is greater than x squared. And then I'm going to swap the two sides of my inequality. When you swap the two sides of an inequality, you have to change your inequality symbol. So instead of greater than, we're going to have less than. All right, so the last step is denominators. We don't have any denominators. So if we can just solve this inequality, then that's going to tell us the answer for this particular question. So we have to ask ourselves this important question. For what values of x would x squared be less than 9? Well, this is actually covered in a previous video. We found that as long as x is in the interval negative 3 to 3, with parentheses at both ends, then when we square x, the result will be less than 9. This is very easy to see. If you are only interested in the values between negative 3 and 3, for example, like 2, when you square it, you get 4, which is less than 9. Or negative 2, when you square it, you get 4, which is less than 9. But can we use 3 itself? Almost. 3 squared is exactly 9. We need it to be less than 9. So instead of a bracket at 3, we have a parenthesis. So this is the answer for the domain of our function as an interval. Parenthesis, negative 3, comma 3, close parenthesis. OK, let's do a similar problem. Let's try this one. All right, so find the domain of log base 4 of the difference x squared minus 1. All right, let's go through the steps together. Step 1, start with all real numbers. Great, done. Step 2, even index radicals. Don't have any, so we can skip step 2. Step 3, log argument greater than 0. Yep, we got that. This right here. So we need to make sure that x squared minus 1 is greater than 0. Add 1 to both sides, you get x squared is greater than 1. Well, here's yet a third example of where we have an inequality involving a square. x squared will be greater than 1 if x is bigger than 1 or less than negative 1. So we get the following interval. Step 4, there are no denominators, so we can skip step 4, which means that this right here is our final answer for our domain.